Welcome to episode number 13 of Generations Collide as the table toppers will collide against each other. The first ranked team, the Ruthless Aggression era, will take on the second ranked Reality era. Spear superstars about to start for each other. Edge is very quick and goes for the spear. He actually suckered Roman Reigns into not hitting a spear. And randomly just going for a spear from a very close distance. That was a good start from Edge. Even though the model doesn't look as good, his head looks like way way out of proportion but he has done his job he has eliminated Roman Reigns very early on in this match that doesn't stand well for the team of reality era as the key player has been eliminated very early on by the ruthless aggression legend Edge Edge who remixes it he returns as a replacement of John Cena I found a creation I just changed his moveset made him almost like 2k23 Edge minus a few attributes the rating is, I think, uh, three points lower than it was previous year. Triple H with a running knee, just like Harley Race. Could start this for Edge. But Triple H is going for pedigree on Edge. Connects with it. Edge has taken a bit of damage on the torso. He has lost uh, the green zone health, so that means he will, won't, he will not be able to recover his health very quickly. The teams are also very equally balanced, minus uh, The Undertaker. He is very high in rating. But in terms of performance, he's almost equal to Randy Orton, so I don't think there is any big difference. If you wouldn't see in the start, Edge was 90, Roman was 90, Rollins was 89, Batista is 89, Orton is 91, Triple H is 91. So that's how balanced these two teams are. Very equal stances, similar performances, a possum pin. Referee stopped the count midway, Triple H kicked Orton this time, Triple H is going for a Possum pin. I just saw the referee randomly pull out of the pin when Triple H was getting pinned. So is that a thing in the game? That Triple H won't get pinned. I said Prawn's in the ring. But he got tagged in. I thought he was showing off actually. He was getting tagged in. Edge is has tagged in the MVP of the team, Batista, who isn't saving Edge for some reason. Now he is. He breaks the move midway and goes for the big Batista bomb and said Rollins. This is not looking good for the reality era. Same team, the Ruthless Aggression era team. Absolutely demolished the Renaissance era, the current era's team. But these guys just roaming around. I don't know why. Doesn't attack anyone. Okay, Triple H comes down on the floor. Gets absolutely smashed with the Lariat. And said, Rollins missed his deep shot. Connects on Randy Orton, but Batista is back to the ring. Doesn't go for a finisher. Set to the single leg drop kick, something Edge also likes to do a lot. Batista wanted to go for the second Batista bomb, but uh, neck breaker from Rollins is going to stop that. Batista might try to go for the Batista bomb once again, so Rollins needs to be a bit careful. Batista isn't taking any damage from those neck breakers. Seth needs to go for that big stomp because Batista will go for it as soon as he gets the distance right. Suplex gets reversed. Seth Rollins with a rear grapple into a beautiful neck breaker. Finally, good neck breaker, which wasn't very slow from Rollins. Another one, third neck breaker we have seen in this match. Batista bomb gets through, gets dodged, doesn't get reversed. Batista is almost stunned. Seth isn't going for the finisher. He has a signature though. Let's hope he doesn't get caught. That's a reversal. That's not good. Batista got stuck when he tried to go for the pedigree. Almost turned this Batista and Seth Rollins makes the big mistake of giving him space tags in the evolution partner of Batista. The four-time finalist, three-time champion Batista versus the two-time champion, two-time finalist Triple H. Both of those wins were with evolution. One in version wars along with Batista. One was in action wars with Batista, Ric Flair and Randy Orton. The same is the case of Randy Orton. He has also played he has played three finals actually so he has played one more than triple h flapjack assisted flapjack from the legs now working the legs of the big man batista triple h isn't as big as batista i'm pretty sure this is a very well dull move not a submission so batista, batista will not be able to tap out even if he wants to randy orton is legal he has two finishes too both men want to go for the close line randy orton with the connection Randy Orton now taunting Batista at this point. 
wants to go for the RKO on Batista. Batista's taking big damage on his head. One more RKO and he's out. Head saves his partner. The awkwardly big headed edge. Randall wanted to go for another RKO on his uh, rated RKO partner. But this time Randy Orton will be with authority. Partnering with Kane in version wars. Randy Orton goes for another RKO. This time he gets reversed. I'm glad that they fixed the RKO animation. Triple H connects with the cheap shot first. And Batista is down. It was very bad for Batista. He raged himself up for the second finisher. Didn't work at all. Randy Orton with a neck breaker, not a RKO. Now he goes for the RKO on Triple H. He's taken the first finisher of the night, I think. Seth Rollins is going to save his authority partner. Both of, both of whom aren't playing for authority in version wars for some reason. They played for authority in uh, the faction, faction wars, I think. Factions collide. Might be factions collide. I don't remember the tournament name. They played the finals together, but they are defeated by the eventual winner, the Shield, who also featured featured Rollins. So doesn't make a big difference. Undertaker with a big clothesline. He holds the key for victory today. He goes for the tombstone. This does have a second reversal. Gets reversed actually. Big elbow to the jaw of the Undertaker. Triple H now has his two finishers. Catches himself with the knee. Catches Undertaker with the knee, sorry. And now working the legs of the big man. Six foot ten. Not at this point, but six foot six. Undertaker. Randy Orton is legal. Running DDT from Undertaker. You don't give him a lot of gap. Undertaker I'm talking about. He will go for those tombstones very quickly. Because his moves are best when hit from a distance. Undertaker wants to tag in Edge. Who is making a comeback for the Ruthless Aggression Era team. Won a few matches in the previous year's tournament. Former best friends. Turn rivals. Peace against each other. Edge and Randy Orton. Randy Orton and Edge both don't have a finisher, so Edge almost has a finisher. The Impaler DDT, Wheelbarrel, and a Flapjack from Edge. Edge almost has a signature. We want to go for it once again. Randy Orton with Athletic Reversal. Randy Orton, the man who won Ruthless Aggression. Team of, was it? Oops, oh, sorry. It wasn't Ruthless. Andre Orton was the man who won the tournament for the evolution. A big impaler DDT, the execution from Edge on Randy Orton. Randy Orton was the guy who won for the evolution team in the end against the authority. So last year it was all Batista. Edge with a big stun off the middle rope. I'll need to fix that moveset it seems. Edge doesn't do that. I fixed the real grapple and the front grapple but not a lot of the moves because it takes so much time. It takes like 2 hours to fix it. Even copy pasting isn't that easy. A good backflip of a reversal of a back soup like this time. Randy is able to connect with the carry edge as of spear. Randy needs to be careful. Ruthless have been uh, dominating in this match which is very surprising because this team is really strong. The reality era team. In terms of sheer power, Roman Reigns, who got eliminated really early against the Ruthless Aggression era, this has happened twice. Once in the Thunderdome era, Roman Reigns, the tribal chief Roman Reigns, who is much stronger, and today too it happened. But that time, Roman Reigns was counted out, so that doesn't count really. Seth Rollins with a reversal, both pen with a similar reversal. Seth has two finishers, a signature, he can have a super finish at this point. Edge with a captured punch. Set with a single leg drop kick makes a comeback. He needs to go for a finish very quickly. But Edge with a reversal once again. Working the arms and once again Edge with a signature. He's going to tag out and tag in Randy Orton. Rated RKO partner. Randy Orton wanted to go for the RKO. Set runs with a pedigree. Gets reversed. Gets reversed. Not a good idea from Rollins. That gives Orton enough stamina to have a signature. Might not go for it. He goes for the RKO first on Rollins and goes for the cover. Randy Orton 15 is a bit too late, but Rollins kicks out on his own. Orton was a bit too slow on that occasion. Again, I think Rollins is uh, being a bit greedy. He wants to go for that top rope stomp. Triple H with an interception. 
and you have to watch the tag Randy Orton actually intercepted the tag twice now Randy Orton wanted to go for the draping DDT Seth Rollins with a stomp on Orton Orton is John finally Rollins with a big move Batista is so quick he comes back in the ring and saves his partner Batista would have been needed in the face if he were to have escaped on that occasion Orton with a big reversal now he will go for the draping DDT connects with it could stop this from Randy Orton Rollins is going to be down, not eliminated though. He has a good amount of health. Rollins has been in being has been hit with a lot of signatures of late. Generations Collide was won by the Shield because of Rollins and Roman Reigns reversing a lot of the big signatures and finishers. Finally, Rollins reverses a sig finisher. Rollins needs to go for the stomp. He doesn't go for it, he's going for a double team, the distance is way too high and Orton reverses either way. Orton will try to go for a tag at this point. Grapple attempt misses, Rollins has his chance, doesn't go for it, he goes for the grapple again. Suplex, I don't know the name of the suplex. Triple H or Randy Orton, Triple H is going to be tagged in. Triple H, if he goes for the sickness, he can go for the super finisher. Doesn't look like... Okay, he's going for the spine buster. Spine buster by the game on Orton. He goes for the cover. Edge is going to save him. I thought it was the new take but it was Edge. Triple H is going for a regular pedigree. He doesn't go for the super finisher. Wrong decision. Gets reversed. Gets close line down. Not a best idea from Triple H. He could have gone for the super finish and eliminated Randy Orton. But Undertaker has been tagged in now. Big knee on the face of the Undertaker. And he has been busted open, but blood is off, so we can't see the blood. Triple H working in the arms of the Undertaker. Triple H is trying to tag out to Randy Orton, who has also has a signature. Undertaker, while to double team for some reason, Randy Orton tried to go for the draping DDT. Now he is going for a whip. I don't know what the plan is. The plan is test press hammer down with punches. Give enough damage with the Undertaker because he is the defense wall of the team. He can take two to three finishes with ease. But you never know. Undertaker with a punch attempt. Both men with a dodge. Well done by both men. But Randy Orton was quick on that occasion. Big whip. Gets reversed. And Undertaker has been thrown down with a shoulder tackle on the apron. Now Orton attacking himself on the apron. Ed is just looking on. Not he is not going to save. Orton, I think. <laughs> and a kick to the gut by the Undertaker. Undertaker holds the key because everyone has taken damage except the Undertaker. And he can do a lot of damage if he gets tired. If he gets tired, every single tombstone will have one reversal or less. It depends on the luck of the defending superstar. That whether he will be able to get the first reversal or not. Undertaker. The best pure striker with a big suplex to end the combo. Now he has a choke slam. He wanted to go for it, but it was way too slow from the Undertaker. Undertaker once again with a grapple scoop slam gets reversed. I thought he was going for the scoop slam into a leg drop, but that got reversed. Now Randy Orton with a big DDT. He has a finisher. Needs to go for it. Needs to damage Undertaker enough if uh, Reality Era wants to make a comeback. Tags in Triple H. Who also has two finishes so that's not the worst of ideas triple s with a slow pedigree the old school pedigree doesn't reverse it does the undertaker and undertaker has taken the big finisher which he should have everyone is locked out if triple s connects another finisher it's going to be the end of the undertaker undertaker has freeze but it wouldn't work triple s is going to go for another pedigree doesn't connect undertaker is going to power out and go for a big clothesline. So everything was in the Triple H's favor minus the second reversal. And Triple H now is going to double team. At least try. But Undertaker is going to reverse it once again. And Undertaker has two finishers. He might go for the first one. No, he isn't going for the first one. I don't know what the Undertaker is thinking here. He wants to go for the double team. Tags in the rated R superstar H. Edge has a signature. Edge with a big chop. Wanted to go for the execution. Gets reversed. 
Triple Edge has a spine buster now. Edge misses with a spear. Triple Edge with a big knee. The spear miss was very bad for Edge. Triple H had taken enough damage to be knocked out by that spear. But now it's not looking good for Edge. Stomp on the arm of Edge. Triple H is not tagging out. That's reversed. Edge with the reversal. If he goes for the whip, he's going for the spear, but he isn't. He's going to tag in uh, Batista. Trying to get with the denial of tags multiple times, but every single superstar of this team is very smart. They tag in the correct member. So it goes around for a big punch. Triple H is the man if you want they want to make a comeback. Captured knee, not a spine buster. And now Triple H made the mistake. He went for the cover. Undertaker is going to save him. Undertaker is so quick. He knows that his team is in big trouble. And Batista with an instant recovery goes for the Batista bomb. Knocks out Triple H. It's 2v4 for the reality era. Randy Orton with the RKO. Obviously doesn't knock out Batista. RKO does a bit lesser damage than a lot of the finishers in the game. Batista bomb also does less damage. So it's equal. Randy Orton has taken a lot of damage. So has Batista. He's just one finisher away. The pendant Randy Orton storms. That got reversed. Randy Orton slid out. Batista doesn't want to tag out. Undertaker wants to tag very desperately. Undertaker is very quickly recovering his health too. If you look at this meter. Randy Orton is showing off. He's done that thrice now. Orton needs to go for something, but he doesn't have it. Okay, finally he goes for a punch and once again is showing off. Batista is recovering finally. The match had slowed down. Now, big DDT. Batista once again instantly recovers. This time can't go for the Batista bomb. Double team. Rollins has been tagged in. He has two finishes and a signature. If this time he connects with the signature, it's going to be good. But Batista with the distance. Doesn't go for the Batista bomb. Is that going to cost him? Delayed vertical suplex on Rollins. Powering Rollins up. Rollins isn't exactly a small man either. Batista wanted to go for grapple. Finally, said Rollins with a storm. This is going to knock out Batista from this match. It's 3v2. Ruthless aggression still at advantage. But they have taken enough damage. Who lose from a disadvantage? So from advantage size. Randy Orton with a reversal almost has a finisher. Again, wanted to whip him. Rollins has the opportunity. He wanted to go for the drop kick instead of going for a finisher. A another single leg drop kick. Edge is taking a lot of damage, so he might get knocked out with a single finisher from Rollins. Even a signature might knock him out. Randy Orton was following Rollins on that occasion. Can go for the RKO from that position, but he doesn't. And a storm gets reversed. That thwarts a lot of comeback attempt from uh, the reality era. Seth Rollins doesn't want to be tag teamed on, double teamed on. RKO, Seth Rollins wanted to go for the pedigree. And that's 1v3. It's Orton versus Orton. Orton has done it in 2K23. Let's see if he can do it in 24. The 1v3 comeback. Batista has been knocked out, so there is a chance for the team of Reality Era. They quite, they really worked on Batista well, but this team is so strong because of the Undertaker. Just being there, his rating is so good that he can just stand there and the other team is in problem. Undertaker is going for the Tombstone. Doesn't get reversed. Randy Orton is going to take his second finisher. Obviously not going to get knocked out because he is the Viper. But he's going to use his resiliency. No, he doesn't. Undertaker is not going to be very happy. He is sliding out of the ring. He'll get back. Don't worry. He will, I think, charge up for this, another finisher. He wants to go for the double team. Who is he going to tag in? Okay, Randy Orton with the reversal. He has a finisher. RKO on the Undertaker. Like I said, the 96 rated Undertaker. High defenses. Won't get knocked out this easily and kicks off without resiliency after taking a second finish. Undertaker is more dangerous than Roman Reigns in the game in terms of defense. Ripping TDT on Randy Orton by Randy Orton. 
that the smart person, the undertaker, is going to save his partner. He wants to take as many fish as he, as he can. That is going to wear out Randy Orton. Undertaker with the last ride gets reversed. Randy Orton powers out Rand Undertaker. And now Randy Orton once again has a signature meter. Okay, he had it. Undertaker broke it up. Randy Orton does go for the draping DDT. That was a mistake. No, it wasn't. He's going from that position. A draping DDT from the apron eliminates the Undertaker. Edge is going for a spear. Edge connects with the spear. That was very smart from Edge. Randy Orton doesn't have a resilience meter, but he still kicks out two and a half. Randy Orton. Is he going to make a comeback for his team here? Or is Edge going to be too much for Randy Orton? Edge has done a great job in this match so far and he eliminates the last man standing as Ruthless Aggression Era stay undefeated in this tournament courtesy of the returning Edge. A lot of effort from Batista and Randy Orton as well. As they finished off the table, Yeah, Era is still on the second of the table but they lose their winning streak. As I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a really good day.